Today, we're talking with judicial leaders, a professor of legal myths about the fact that more and more Canadians are coming to court without a lawyer and about what can be done to address this crisis of access to justice. Because as many as 80% of Canadians in family court, they are standing up alone in front of a judge. Whereas 20 years ago, this number was just 1%. The Chief Justice of British Columbia, Robert Bauman, puts it bluntly. They simply can't afford the full legal representation on most problems. The problem? Most lawyers offer just one type of service, the full representation the Chief Justice refers to. But there is an alternative. It's called unbundled legal services. You pay for a certain number of hours of your lawyer's time, just as many as you can afford, and you ask them to do some specific things to help you. Without the option of unbundled services, the alternative is that litigants are forced to represent themselves from beginning to end. Faced with this reality, judges across Canada are now stepping forward to encourage lawyers to consider offering unbundled legal services. Well, I would think that the judiciary should embrace the unbundling of legal services. Uh, it's as simple as this. Uh, it's much better to have a partially represented litigant than a totally unrepresented litigant. But research by the National Self-Represented Litigants Project shows that although self-represented litigants search for this type of limited affordable legal assistance, only a very few are successful in finding a lawyer who can agree to help them this way. So what's the problem? We're joined now in the studio by David Tanovich, Professor of Legal Myths. Look, it's all about liability. Lawyers are concerned, rightly so, that if they provide unbundled legal services, they won't be covered with professional insurance. Sorry, Professor, but that's just flat wrong. In British Columbia, lawyers receive insurance protection when they provide unbundled legal services, just as they do with traditional retainers. And not just in British Columbia. LawPro has addressed the issue of liability. On its website, it has made available a precedent for a limited scope retainer, a checklist of services so that you can define accurately the services you are providing. Who wants to be sued? Do you? Lawyers don't want to be sued and lawyers don't want to be sued if they provide unbundled legal services. Perhaps they believe that, but... In the United States, where there is a longer history of offering unbundled legal services, the American Bar Association cites numerous studies that show that, quote, there is a high degree of client satisfaction with limited assistance. This has led to an extremely low incidence of malpractice claims. According to judicial leaders, the solution is straightforward for a competent lawyer. Well, I would think that it's all in the retainer agreement. I would uh, be careful to draft a retainer agreement that makes it very clear that uh, your services are limited. Associate Chief Justice Morocco spells out the bottom line here. Every time you provide legal services, you incur risk. What I can tell you is that the judiciary, the law society, and law pro very much want to help you successfully manage those risks. Lux, I think the unbundling of legal services uh, helps everyone. Everybody wins. Obviously, the court wins because uh, the system is more efficient, at least for part of the trial. Uh, opposing counsel even wins because uh, their life is a little smoother uh, when there's a lawyer on the other side. The public wins because uh, cases are more efficient and we have uh, more time available for other matters. I encourage lawyers to try out uh, unbundling in your practice. Uh, indeed, from, a, from the perspective of a, of a marketing opportunity, we know there's an immense unmet legal need in this country. People who have legal problems who never consider going to a lawyer because of their fear of the cost. Hello, I'm Julia McFarlane and I'm the director of the National Self-Represented Litigants Project. The NSRLP is launching a national database of professionals assisting self-represented litigants that includes the names and contact details of lawyers willing to work with individuals who cannot afford full representation by offering them unbundled legal services. This video is to appeal to lawyers across Canada to please consider adding yourself to the national database. There are many towns, even whole regions, 
where no lawyers are yet stepping forward to offer unbundling to help those who cannot afford full representation. Members of the public are asking for these services. Providing unbundled legal services is satisfying and rewarding work that directly involves lawyers in providing access to justice for the very large number of Canadians who cannot otherwise afford legal representation. And leading judges across Canada agree. I am Frank Morocco, the Associate Chief Justice of the Superior Court of Justice in Ontario, and I approve this message. I am Michael McDonald, Chief Justice of Nova Scotia, and I approve this message. I am Chief Justice Bowman, and I approve this message.